Now we come to an award that always creates a lot of excitement around the world, the Thinkers 50 Coaching and Mentoring Award. In recognition of his contributions to the field of executive coaching, Marshall Goldsmith was inducted into the Thinkers 50 Hall of Fame in 2018. Now those of you who know Marshall, which is everybody, won't be surprised to hear that when we told him we wanted to induct him into the Hall of Fame, his first thought was what he could give back to the next generation. The Marshall Goldsmith Distinguished Achievement Award for Coaching and Mentoring is that gift. And we are grateful to Coaching.com and 100 Coaches for making it possible. The Marshall Goldsmith Distinguished Achievement Award recognises individuals who make uh, huge contributions to the field of executive coaching. The Coaching and Mentoring Award is unique among awards because it starts with a long list of 50 nominees selected via the 100 Coaches Network. We're grateful for their help and support in identifying the individuals who are most deserving of this recognition. So we started with a long list of 50, which after a lot of thought and debate has been whittled down to the final eight. The shortlisted thinkers are I see Bursel, Nanconde Cassonde van der Brock, Julie Carrier, Priscilla Gill, Jesse Hsu, Modupi Taylor Pierce, Tracy Sinclair, and Michael Bungay Stanier. And here to present the award, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, are Alex Pascal, CEO and founder of Coaching.com, and the rhinestone coach himself. Marshall Goldsmith, founder of 100 Coaches. Are you there, Marshall? Are you there, Alex? Mm -hmm. We can't hear yes, you. Thank you. Alex, Alex, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for being a great sponsor of this project. And, uh, you know, big round of applause to you first. So thank you. Thank you, thank you Marshall. I have the, the, the envelope here. So. And the winner is, I think it was her crime, Nankande Kasande Bundenbrook. Nankande. Nankande, thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure as I sit here in my hotel room in Niger, in West Africa, having spent the day trying to support coaching on the ground in Africa. I want to say thank you so much, Thinkers 50, Des and Stuart. I was in London in 2019 and I spoke to both of you and I asked, where are the other African thinkers? <laughs> and I wanted to find them and help you search the continents to bring them and showcase them. So thank you for recognizing African thought leadership. I stand on the shoulders of so many people who have contributed to what we believe is a new narrative for the continent and have a role, responsibility and purpose in it. I, from a career decade working for international development and international finance and curiosity took me into coaching there must be a different way can i answer some of these questions and at what level do i need to find and it was at the level of executive coaching that we've been able to make a difference and i bring in so many others in this uh, award who have done so much work through the Africa Executive Coaching Council, Breakfast Club Africa, Africa Board for Coaching and Coaching Psychology. There's so many Africans with whom I stand because we do believe, and I think we reached a point where we understood international best practice needs to be layered with the cultural and contextual dimensions of our context. And that has really driven the work I've done. So I just want to say thank you. And thank you to my husband and children who have allowed me and created spaces for me to serve this continent and this responsibility that I believe we have. And it's a big agenda, but we're so excited to drive the purpose and change that Africa needs. And Nankonde, you're also an entrepreneur. T t tell yeah. us about that. you're an entrepreneur, activist and coach. I'm a businesswoman and um, uh, clearly you know, the, next, the future of Africa is engaging the private sector more. The government can't do everything. And so uh, a year ago, I developed one of the first psychometric assessments that really looks at how do we collect and generate African data? My first degree is in management and my master's in, is in managing organizations. And so so much information comes out of just that process. So in my own business, 
after 10 years of uh, working in international development and 10 years of coaching, I launched and developed a tool, a psychometric assessment that really looks at how we think, relate, lead and act in an African context. And it has five cultural dimensions. And I really built on the work of Gert Hofstede, Philip Rosinski, but brought in the African element. And as a businesswoman, my role now is collecting African data in this new digital age. We need to be able to understand what are the competencies that are gonna drive success? And how do we not only do it from a development perspective, but also from a profitable commercial perspective? Because my contribution to my work is also my contribution to my economy. Nankonde, many congratulations and thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. And thank you to Marshall and Alex as well uh, for their support and for joining us this evening. Mm -hmm.